Hello and welcome. My name is Anna McDougall and I'm presenting JavaScript in less than three, where I describe JavaScript concepts in under three minutes. Today we're going to talk about index of. Now this is a string method that is so useful. So we've talked a bit about indices and about car at and about using bracket notation to pull things out of strings. Uh, but the question might be naturally, how do you know where something is in a string? Right? If you've got this long ass string, how do you know where a certain word or a certain character or whatever is? Right? And this is where index of comes in handy. So let's start with a string. Um, let's use my name again. I know it's boring, but hey, we're here now. Uh, so Anna Jean McDougall is my name. All right, now we want to find, let's say, I really want to know where the G is. I, I, who knows why? But I want to know where the G is. So I go name dot index of g. So we can then use that. So let's say we can say um, uh, let g spot, oh my god, I was, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it had to happen. Let g spot equals name dot index of g. And then if we wanted to uh, access that or change it, let's say, we could say name square brackets g spot uh, equals d. Right, and then it would become Anna Jean McDoodle, just to keep on the trend here of, of terrible puns. Uh, there we go. Um, notice that it is case sensitive, and if an item can't be found, it will return minus one. So if we said, na uh, sorry, yeah, name dot index of, and then we looked for um, p, yeah, it would return minus one. It's not going to give us an index because there is no index, right? There's no index to refer to. Now there is an optional second parameter with this one. Uh, I will say I've not ever seen it used, but just so you're totally aware of it, uh, we could do name.index of, and let's say we don't want to find the first A, um, we want to find the A that's in the surname. Oh, sorry, or the A that's in my middle name. And so we decide to skip over my first name. We know that my first name is four characters long, so we'll say look for an A, Right, but the second parameter is what index to start from. So we can see my name is four characters long. That means we want to start at four. That's the place to start searching from. So we'll do it here. It is then going to look for, it's going to start here and then start searching. So it'll be fine five, six, seven, and it will return seven. And that's basically how index of works. So hopefully you find this useful at some point in your programming life. And uh, I apologize <laughs> for all my terrible puns. See you guys next time. Bye.